Hey guys, right now we're in a 2021 Toyota RAV4. I'm gonna go through the ins and outs of your infotainment system from setting up your phone, using the navigation, connecting to Android, auto, and changing the radio presets. All right guys, so if you just purchased a new Toyota, you might be curious about everything you can do on this infotainment system. Lucky you have me, so you don't have to go through your owner's manual. I'm just gonna go through the ins and outs here. So this is the eight inch infotainment system. We're in a Toyota RAV4. Um, this is the home menu that we're on now. So you can either use the hard buttons or the touch screen to navigate through this, but we're just gonna go over everything here. So let's start with the audio. I'm gonna go to the audio here. You can you can see I have the audio off, but basically you can pick your choice, your source. That's the first thing you're gonna do. You can pick your source if you want Sirius Satellite, AM, FM, Bluetooth. If you wanna change the order of what these things are in, see I can reorder these things and I can pick and I can move the AM, FM over there. If my fingers na naturally gravitate to the Sirius XM, you can just click and drag it and move it around so it's in a better spot for you. But let's start with that Sirius XM and check that out. This is Sirius XM. Here we can see our full menu. We have the preview enabled on this vehicle. So right now we're on Sirius XM channel five, 50's on five. If you wanna set that as a preset, you can set that as a preset just by clicking and holding and see it just set there at number five. If you wanna change your radio station, you can use the big tuner there. You can also use the buttons on your steering wheel or you can use the presets as well by touching the presets. Down below is our radio replay. So let's say you hear a song you like and you wanna replay it, you can use the radio pre preset. So here you can see I can go back and there, that song just restarted from when I selected it on. On your station list, you can pick your different stations here and go through by category. You can see I can navigate through the different categories from comedy to country to sports, talk shows, and then you can just pick the category you like and then there's all the comedy stations there. In your options, you can go through the options. Here you can see I can select an auto an auto pause, you can do an HD radio, you can turn all your options on and off um, using the options here. And then our sound options. So that's gonna be things like our treble, our bass. I can adjust those, right, um, using the plus and minus buttons here. Um, that's gonna be in our sound options. Okay, so if you wanna go back to your regular AM, FM, you're done with the satellite radio, you can just hit source. The AM, FM is gonna work almost the same way um, where you can just go to your presets and then you put it on a station that you like. So if I want 99.9, I just click and hold the preset button and you can save it as a preset. Once you hear that beep, it presets. Our sound options, everything is the same there. Uh, Bluetooth, we're gonna connect the phone and you can play music right from your Bluetooth that's on your phone there. Once we connect our phone, we're gonna get that to that in a second. But let's go back to that home menu and let's do that. So here we're gonna go to register phone. I have my phone here with me, so it's asking there are no registered Bluetooth devices. Would you like to register one now? I'm gonna hit yes. And now it's gonna come in and it's gonna search for my phone. So I just need to go to my Bluetooth settings on my phone and hopefully you can see this here. And I'm gonna hit Bluetooth. I need to go into pair new device on my phone and you can see it just popped up one plus six there. That's my phone. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna wait. It just asked me to pair my phone and I'm gonna hit pair, the pin matches. And here we are connected to Toyota RAV4. So you can see it's connected right away. It's gonna take a minute to download all your contacts and everything, but it's connecting now, and we are good to make calls. Uh, I don't wanna download my phone book just for privacy purposes, so I'm gonna skip that, but you'll wanna download your phone book um, to the vehicle. I don't wanna download my text messages either. It's asked me on my phone those same requests, but I'm just gonna hit no. And now you can see my phone's connected on the top corner here. If you wanna make calls, you can just hit phone, 
and it will go right to your phone screen. Here I can see like my call history, your favorites, nothing showing up on the screen because I didn't download anything due to privacy purposes, but normally your contacts will be up here, but I can make calls this way. I can view my text messages here. Um, there's a text messaging assistant if you want to review your text messaging. But let's go back to the home menu. We're gonna check out that navigation. So here if I click the map here, the navigation comes on. It's pretty easy to search here. I can just hit search and then I can hit destination assistant if I want to connect to a destination assistant um, it will call and they'll walk you through that or I can just search right specifically um, like let's say I want to go to the CN Tower I can just hit CN to start typing it and it's just like Google will it will auto populate here for you CN Tower search and it's gonna search for a couple results and then it's gonna navigate us there see there it is there 301 Front Street this is the address I want so I'm just gonna click that there And now you can see it's already pinpointed it. We're ready to go. If I want to save this, if this is a common place, I can hit save. But let's just go there. And now it's been set. And see, it shows us on the map here. And we're good to go now. You can Please see. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. 45 minutes to get there, 55 kilometers. Our estimated arrival time is 2.14. And then I can do things on my left-hand side here, like check my whole route if I wanna see the whole route. Um, you can also add different detours as well if you wanna add a pit stop. Here I can change my map modes. So for example, if I want a different map mode, you wanna see your directions. It's very easy to navigate somewhere using this system because you can really set it up whatever way you're most comfortable with you can also see your PO icon icon so if I want to see like where gas is around me I can hit OK and then you can see all the gas stations just popped up there I can zoom in and out tons of different things to do with the GPS very easy to use there that's just gonna auto center me using this top left button let's go back to our home menu and now let's say you wanna use the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay. So that's something very popular nowadays. I have a ton of content on that. If you have trouble connecting, make sure you check out my video. But let's just show you how quick and easy it is to connect your Android Auto here. So you just need to have your phone handy and you need to have your cord and you plug your cord in. And there you go. You can see it automatically asks on the screen. I do wanna set it up. And I'm gonna hit OK. And here you can see, I gotta follow the instructions on my phone. It's coming on my phone now. I just hit continue. Since this is the first time I'm in this car, I gotta go through all these starting ones. But there, now my phone shuts off and everything is mirrored right on the screen. Super easy to connect. It took me about two to three minutes. Once again, I'm not gonna download my contacts, but you can see it all here. Um, I have a full video going through this all over again. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about the Android Auto, but it's very easy to connect. And if I wanna disconnect, I I can either go back to this home menu or I can just disconnect my phone. Very easy to use. You can also go through the apps here. There's a few different apps. Um, this one needs to be updated, but you can download all the different apps that come with the vehicle. I'm gonna hit download in the background. Let me know what apps you use on your car in the comment section below, but mainly when I'm driving, I don't use a lot of apps. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions about your infotainment system, you let me know, and I'll be happy to answer them for you in the comment section below.